Yeah, he traveled down there. Because he was there for the judges contest. So I figured he was going anyway. And then get some more chance for nomination this year again. So it's all about the points. Or perception. Like, uh, Our judge has completed his placing in the uh, six-year-old and older class. First for the production award, it goes to number 1811, Roselyn S. Storm Cypress, included by Tori Everett of Brooklyn, Wisconsin. Her record is six years and three months and 267 days, 38,000 pounds of milk, 1550 of butter fat, and 1190 of protein. Uh, she is our highest producing cow on the show. Placing third in the class goes to entry number 1812, Team Durham, Oregon, did by Team Wolf Teams of Hampshire, Illinois. Second in the class goes to entry number 1805, Maxie's Fortune Cocaine, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics. And the winning entry, first best other and first bred known, is entry number 1803, Rosedale, Lexington, exhibited by Rosedale Genetics of Oxford, Wisconsin, and now our judge for his comments. Runner age cow class, a great group of cows, but for me quite a handy winner. A cow that's six years old, had three calves, been milking since last summer. Still an ultra dairy, clean cut, open rib type of cow, giving her the advantage of our cow and second in her mammary system. When you get behind her, she's fuller at the top of the rear river. She's a uniform, uniform all the way to the top of the rear river. Uh, she's smothered in that quarter attachment. Up from the way she travels, a little more comfortably about the ring than a great crane cow coming out in second. The second place cow just logically fits in there. She matches up with our first cow in that frame. She's a tall, long-bodied, silky dairy cow. It's a close placing between second and third for me, but again, just follows in that frame pattern. Her upstandingness, her length from end to end, her style and balance out on the move over the beautiful other cow coming in third. The third cow makes second best under the classic cow that wears a tremendous family system. You know, the height and width of rear udder, uh, the correctness of teeth placement. It's that advantage in her mammary system that gets her to her down for her. She's much snugger in her forward attachment. She shows more quality in that rear, uh, rear udder today over another great frame cow coming in for her. The fourth cow, just fresh, uh, about three weeks with triplets. You love the frame. A cow is really balanced back in her frame, but needs more time to get that congestion out of her mammary system uh, to compete with these top three cows in the class. 
Set an image in a frame and style and balance to get over another tall dairy cow coming out in fifth. The fifth cow, you love the framework, the angularity, to get over a tremendous rear-ordered cow coming out in seventh. For those of you working your catalog, there were 12 six-year-old and older cows. Reading down your catalog, 1801 was fifth. 1802 did not show. 1803 was a win entry. First best sutter and first red node. Rosedale Lexington exhibited by Rosedale Genetics of Oxford, Wisconsin. 1804 did not show. 1805 was second for Mount Genetics. 1806 was 12th. 1807 was 10th. 1808 did not show. 1809 was 7th. 1810 did not show. 1811 was 11th and won the production award for Tory Evers of Brooklyn, Wisconsin. 1812 was 3rd. 1813 was 8th and the first junior for Cale, Chase, and Caden Cannon and Gina Coons of Dyersville, Iowa. 1814 was 6th. 1815 was 9th and the second junior for Jenna Langer of the Forest, Wisconsin. And 1816 was 4th. Her name is Sunrose Jess, to by Bryce and Brent Gingrich, and Riley Treat of Millersburg, Indiana. Class down the ring is a 150,000 pound cow. First place trophy sponsored by Bud John Farms. Best Sutter by Alpha Genetics. Production award by Keller Crest Holsteins. And a junior award by Brian Greenman, Royal Mutual Insurance. Next class in the ring will be our champion bread known as the Junior Show. And we need uh, entry number 1111 and entry number 1220, a junior two-year-old and a senior two-year-old. These are the animals competing for a champion bread known as the Junior Show. So please have those animals uh, heading for the show arena. And after the best bread known as the Junior Show, we'll have the senior champion of the Junior Show. Thank you. 
completed is placing in the 150,000 pound class. Placing third in the class is first Brad Known is entry number 1902. Dorsland Ellie Evelyn, exhibited by Matthew Donors to Junction City, Wisconsin. Second goes to entry number 1901. Hazel Bush Flower, exhibited by Beth Nelson of Blair, Wisconsin. And the winning entry, and also winning the production award, is entry number 1905. Van Dool Durham Treasure, included by Mike and Julie Duckett of Rudolph, Wisconsin. Her record as a nine-year-old in 305 days was 34,459 of them, 1351 of butter fat, and 1,049 of protein. And now we're Judge Corey's comments. Chris? Well, it's certainly a tribute to these three old cows to be here and in the show ring today after producing this amount of milk. Uh, but we just have a tremendous cow here to start the class. A cow that's 11 years old, been milking 13 months, and what a tremendous well, family okay. system on this cow. Six canning, still predators that are well above the hock. You love the whip, the mammary system, the veination about the udder. She's got a uh, beautiful dairy rib to her. You love the dairy strength. It's that advantage in her mammary system that gets her over a cow in second, just on the snugness of her attachments, uh, the way those teats hang a little more correctly beneath the other floor. Second over third, a little closer placing for me, but when you get him in line, our second cow just carries her udder much higher above the hock. She's fuller at the top of the rear udder today. She's got more width to chest, a little more depth to heart than another ultra dairy cow coming out here in third. You're marking your catalog number 350,000 pound cows. 1901 was second for Beth Nelson. 1902 was third and first bred known for Matthew Dornhorst. 1903 and four did not show. In 1905 was the winning entry, first best runner, and won the production award for Mike and Julie Duncan of Rudolph, Wisconsin. Last now come in the ring will be the champion bred known in the junior show. This trophy is sponsored by our Hulsey Association. And then we'll follow up with the senior champion female in the junior show and the reserve senior champion female in the junior show. Congratulations. And that champion, Junior Red Known, is entry number 1708, Chrome Jasper Event Pro. 
Good by Cassie Crow. Uh, this is Junior Brad Noel. Let's give her a nice round of applause, please. Next class for you, we have Senior Champion Female and Junior Show. This is a trophy sponsored by International Protein Insiders. And their Senior Champion of Protein is sponsored by Stone Ridge Dairy, George Casper. Immediately after the name of the Senior Champion, we're going to have a Grand Champion Female. So we want the Junior Champions back in the ring. Grand Champion Female of the Junior Show has a trophy sponsored by Valentine Erke. Reserve Grand Champion Female of the Junior Show sponsored by the Green County Junior Holstein Association. The animals that are competing for our senior champion and junior show, the unfresh two-year-old is entry number 1001, OCD hero, Taya Leone, stood by Tyler 